Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I am doing a message today from Archangel Gabriel for you. Yesterday we had a message coming through from Archangel Michael, today one from Gabriel, the angel of communication, the angel of creativity and the angel of power, divine feminine power. So do check that out. But I'm going to use quite a few decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to use the Messages Through Music Oracle, the Twin Flame Oracle to see what the energy is around the connection. And then we're going to do a message from the Divine Feminine Messages of Love, the Divine Masculine Messages of Love, and a message from the angels using the Power Messages. And then at the end, I'm going to see what question we need to be asking today with the Divine Structure deck. So thank you, angels. So what's the energy, please, today around the connection? What's the energy, please, today around the connection? Wow, jumping out the deck straight away. Powerful stuff here. What's the energy, please, angels? I was looking for the card. There it is. Around the divine feminine. Wow, look how they're jumping out the deck here. What's the energy, please, around the divine masculine? The energy around the masculine. And it's apparently today that the lion's gate closes. But we know better than that. We know the energy is sticking around. You know, the energy is sticking around until the 12th of December. Opportunities and change. So remember that today. You may be feeling heat again today. Power masculine saying to you, wow, you know, you turn me on. Look at you wearing those clothes, wearing that smile. Look at you. So they're in awe of you today. And the feeling, that energy, the feeling you, the feeling, the heat, the desire. So you're going to be feeling that again because we're still going through ascension symptoms. And obviously, you know, if you're a woman, if you've been on your menstrual cycle or you're going through menopause or premenopause, you're going to be feeling it even more intensely during this energy right now. You know, you may have had headaches, hot flashes, dizziness, nausea, you know, feeling disorientated, brain fog, all the usual kind of menopause slash cycle, you know, menstrual cycle symptoms intensified. It's like they've been amplified because our bodies are changing. You know, things are being prepared now for the future. And, you know, our mind is changing too. We're experiencing things differently, seeing things differently, understanding things from a different point of view. So what's the energy, please, angels, around the connection today? The energy around the connection, the energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculine. There it is. Wow. Wow. What's the energy, please, angels? What do the masculines want to say? And what do the feminines want to say? So what do the feminines want to say today to the masculine? Or what energy are you in? That's it there. The energy around the masculine, or what do they want to say to you today from their heart? There we go, straight out there. And another one. What's the energy, please, around the divine masculine today? What's the message from heaven? Thank you, angels. And the message for the feminine today. The message from the feminine. Wow, very powerful. And what's the question we need to be asking? What's the question that we need to be asking? What's the question? Thank you. So the question is, how does he really feel about me? How does he or she really feel about you? That's the question we're asking. That's what may be on your mind today. What you're thinking. So we're going to see how this question is incorporated all through this reading. And then we're going to do an extra message at the end, okay? So the energy then, the divine feminine is saying to the masculine today, we are meant to be, wow, we are meant to be. So you're realizing that on a very deep level. And this is why you're feeling all of these symptoms, all these ascension symptoms, because you know that you're meant to be, you're feeling it. You're feeling extra connected right now to your twin. You're feeling connected to everything. You know that you are here for a reason. That it's meant to be, you're understanding what your mission is, what your purpose is too. And the masculine saying to you, I want to speak my truth. So feminines, you're realizing that you were meant to be, and the masculines want to speak their truth. They want to express themselves to you. They want to show you and tell you exactly how they feel about you and about their karmic situation. And the other day we did a message which said, divine masculine is leaving their family. And it triggered a few people. Some people were like, that's awful that they're going to leave their family. Why would you want that? And it's not that. 
Okay, you have to look above things through the ego. The ego sees things in a very kind of black and white way. The higher self sees things in a very powerful spiritual way, seeing the grey areas involved in this too. Why would you want to be in a relationship that is no longer serving you? Why would you want to be in a relationship that is toxic to you? Okay, even if there's children involved, those children are not growing in that kind of environment. You know, it affects them. And it makes them stronger too, because everything we go through during our childhood molds us into who we are. Think about your childhood. It wasn't roses all the time, okay? Because it's designed that way. You're built for strength and power. You're built to endure. You're built to survive. As a soul, we carry on, okay? We go through things to grow and learn. So if everything's beautiful and wonderful in our lives, how do we grow? You know, the smooth water does not build a sailor. You know, it's the rough seas that make you skilled at what you're doing, that hones those skills. You know, if a roller coaster just went like that, it wouldn't be exhilarating, it wouldn't be scary. It's the highs and lows and the twists and turns and the ups and downs that makes it, you know, interesting. And that's why we come. We come here to grow. You know, if we weren't growing, there'd be no reason to come. We'd stay in the other realms. So the angels are saying that to you. So if your person is leaving their karmic situation, it's because the time has come. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Change is good. It means that the change is ready. It needs to happen. So anyone who's thinking, oh, it's wrong to want them to leave their family or, you know, it, it's bad news, or, you know, it's not God, you know, or it's against the divine. It's time, okay? Imagine if you were in, you may even be in a toxic relationship right now. You know, you may be in a situation that isn't serving you. That could be at work, you know, not necessarily in your relationship, and you know it's time because it isn't serving you to stay there or anyone else that you're around. So it's time. So that's a good thing change is good you just have to see it that way and the masculines here want to speak their truth not just to the divine feminine but to their karmic partner to their children to their family to their boss their friends they need to come out into the open it's time and the message is how does he really feel about me he feels like it's time to speak his truth because he's realizing too that you're meant to be he's also saying i feel you so he's feeling you today, Divine Feminine, and he's feeling everything he's going through. Okay, He's going through chaos and change to move things forward in his life, to open him up to his truth, who he is, so he can speak his truth and be true to himself at long last. So he's feeling you, he's feeling his situation, he's feeling everything, and he's feeling that you were meant to be. So the angels are saying to the masculine today, go for it. You know, go for it, divine masculine. Just do it. Reach out. Speak your truth. If that's what you're being guided to do, then go for it. And what matters is now. Because what tends to hold the masculines back is what they've done before. And then they go in through guilt and pain and struggle and fear. And they think, what if I mess it up? What about the way I've behaved in the past? What about the things I've done? And it creates that indecision. Or that indecisive energy that keeps them held back or stuck. Stuck in fear. Stuck in contemplation. Stuck thinking about what to do. And the angels are saying it doesn't matter what's gone. What matters is now. What matters is this moment. The future. And that's why, you know, if you're constantly going over the past. Thinking about what happened a year ago or five years ago. Let it go because it's gone. It can't be changed. It can only be accepted and understood that that's how it was for a reason back then. And this is how it is now. So the angels are saying to you, what matters is now. Let the past go. Forgive that. Focus on the moment. So the masculines are being guided today to go for it in the now because that's what matters. Feminines, we've got fear is illusion. And this was the whole message of yesterday. Archangel Michael coming through to you saying you were built for this. Fear is illusion. 
what matters is now. Be happy now. Focus on the now and know that you are safe and that fear is illusion. There's no need to fear. Fear is a false experience appearing to be real. Fear is the ego creating struggles in the mind, making scenarios up about what could happen or dragging you back into the past when what matters is now. Fear is illusion. Who cares what people think? So remember, it doesn't matter what other people think. Think about you or how you're dealing with your situation. It matters what you think and what you feel and what you know. And that's what's important. So if people are trying to drag you down, pull you into their own misery, their own situation, trying to make you feel like you're going crazy, there's something wrong with you, it matters what you think. It's none of your business what other people think of you. It's your business how you think about you, what you know, what you feel. And you know your truth because you have the power. So the angels are saying to you today, you have the power. You were built for this. You were strong. You know in your heart and soul that fear is illusion. It's just the ego trying to wedge the goodness out of you. You have the power to take back your power, to take control, to not care what people think of you. You know your truth and you speak your truth. And that guides your masculine to speak theirs because all paths lead home. So it doesn't matter who they're with, what they're doing, where they are, all paths lead back to you. And this is why they're saying to you, the grass was not greener. It wasn't greener on the other side. It's green with you. All paths lead home to you and you're finding your way. You have the power to get through this, to carry on, to continue because you were built for this and fear is illusion. So the energy then around the connection today is adventure. Trust the journey. It's an exciting time. It's an exciting time to be a twin flame and it's an exciting time to be a light worker because things are changing. So you've been asked to trust the journey and let it flow. Focus on unconditional love. That's what matters. Everything else is an illusion. We've got rebirth. This journey is coming back to life. Things are being reborn, resurrected, like the phoenix from the flames. Your twin flame journey is protected. And this love is bigger than the physical world. It is a spiritual higher love connected to source and expanded through time. You have a mission, a higher purpose, and a mission here on earth. Step out of the ego. The ego creates fear. Remember, fear is illusion. Fear is illusion. Step out of the ego fears and concerns and start to see the bigger picture. There is more than just a physical 3D love. Allow the angels to help you to see with the eyes of love and your perception will shift and change. So if you start seeing rainbows today, you're being reminded that your journey is protected and most importantly that you are safe. For the masculine, look at this, divine masculine awakening. For the masculines, they are awakening right now. They are understanding and luck is on your side and this is really powerful, especially as we move into Friday because Friday is the 13th and 13 is the number of luck. So luck is on your side. There, this is a time of change, okay? So the masculines are awakening to this change. And this is what they are going through today. This is a time of change and it may feel scary as you move into unknown territory. So the masculines are a bit scared today because they're going into the unknown like Elsa, into the unknown. You know, they're scared, they're afraid, they don't know what to expect, but they're also happy because adventure awaits. They can feel this. They know this. Trust the journey. Trust the mission. Trust what's happening. Trust that your journey is being divinely guided and protected, which is the energy of the journey today, the rainbows, the protection. Trust that your journey is divinely guided. Be brave and move forward fearlessly, embracing any risks that you may need to take along the way, knowing that you are safe. Big changes are happening in both of your 3D worlds. And this is why there's all that chaos. Those tower moments coming in. Because things are happening. And it's so interesting because they tarmacked the road yesterday. 
And that's a big sign of smoother times ahead. And it was right outside the house. And I don't live on a main road, okay? And that's why it's even more powerful because they were tarmacking the roads and they didn't do it the way they were doing things at the other house, okay? There was like a procession of these highway maintenance vehicles smoothing the road, cleansing things. And if you remember and you've got access to Snapchat, I shared it on there yesterday, okay? That procession going down the road. And it was so powerful because it's a big sign of smoother times ahead. And someone commented and said, well, the reason that you're seeing smoother times ahead is because you're in, in a relationship and, you know, your relationship is good. That's not true, okay? Six to eight months ago, my relationship was good, but there was crazy things going on. And if you were watching the channel then, you'd have seen it, okay? The big holes outside the house being made, you know, things being pulled up, road works, crazy outside, delays happening as Archangel Nathaniel move things into place. And now he's saying the smoother times ahead. And whatever I see in the physical world or in my virtual reality is a big sign of change. And I was watching Dallas the other night and episode 21 was about new beginnings and fresh starts. And 2019 was the gathering storm, episode 19. Big sign of what's going on, changes, things coming together. Things happening where people were in separation, coming out of separation. Things being shown to you always. So smooth the roads ahead. And that's why I put that little mini video on, because it was so powerful. You know, I went out, you could hear the cars moving along the new kind of gravel or the tarmac. And it's showing you smoother times ahead. Obstacles being removed away. Archangel Nathaniel working so hard right now to release things. So if you're still seeing the obstacles, the delays, if you're still seeing roadworks, things are happening in your world. Smooth the times ahead. Remember this journey happens at different times for different people. Some of you were saying, wow, Liz, they tarmac my road too. Okay. And it's a big sign that you're moving into karma times. So if you're still dealing with chaos and struggle and you know, road works and upheaval, Archangel Nathaniel is still working hard for you. And there's change happening here. So big changes are happening in both of your 3D worlds and you are being asked to trust that you are safe and that everything is happening for a divine reason to move you where you are meant to be. The number 555 is being shown to you as a reassurance from heaven that all is well. So you're seeing the fives, the masculines are definitely seeing the fives because adventure awaits, it's a new beginning, a time of change and the masculines are going through an awakening. So for feminines, wow, look at this, divine feminine surrender. How powerful that in this reading today, the masculine card came up for the masculine and the feminine card came up for the feminine and the angels are saying to you, just let it flow, you know, luck is on your side, there's nothing to fear. Luck is on your side. So divine feminine surrender be you. Trust the journey. That's all you need to do because luck is on your side. And remember your power. You are a warrior of love. You're being given strength right now in this energy of Leo. During the Lion's Gate portal, things are changing. So forgive and release the past. And the angels are saying to you, you know, if it's causing you problems, if it's sucking you dry, you know, I chose this picture because it's like a vampire bat, but it's also like a ghost. So, you know, if you're being ghosted, ignored, you know, if you're dealing with fear, if you feel like the journey's sucking the energy out of you, forgive and release the past. The time is now. From the moment you were born divine feminine into your human body, you are seeking out your twin flame. You exist to shift consciousness within each other and the world. So it's so much more than just a love relationship or being together or getting married and have kids. You have a higher reason for being here to shift consciousness within each other and the world. That means you awaken your masculine to their truth so they can speak their truth and they wake you up to all the wounds within you that need to be healed. From the moment you awaken to the truth, nothing will be the same again. And that's why when you meet each other, it can never go back. You can never let go because 
you've changed something, some aspect of you. You will both fight for this love. This is one of those moments. So you're being reassured from heaven today that you will fight for this love because luck is on your side and you are safe. So trust the journey today. Adventure awaits. There's magic happening behind the scenes. The road is becoming smoother. Better times ahead. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.